powder does have a nice little protector, so. Oh my gosh, I'm ripping it off. There's no going back. <laughs> I can't mess up the video now. Famous last words. This was the exact moment I jinxed myself. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and sharing my first impressions of this very special loose powder from Chanel. I had originally sat down to film this video a couple days ago now and due to, shall we say, technical difficulties, I wasn't able to finish. So I'm back again, it's take two. And the silver lining is that not only will I be able to share my original first impressions, now that I've been wearing the powder for a couple days, I'll be able to give you a far more comprehensive review because this is the powder that I have been using every single day since. It's so beautiful. So let's begin. This is the LeBlanc Fresh Glow Brightening Loose Powder from Chanel. You haven't seen this at Chanel counters and it's not available on Chanel.com, at least in the United States, because this powder is exclusively sold in Asia. It's not available in the US market. In fact, there's an entire LeBlanc makeup line that's only in Asia. There's a relatively new foundation. They have a stick concealer, which looks really interesting. And there's even some other LeBlanc skincare items, including a cheek mask that I saw, which looks really interesting. I have no idea what that's for but I'd like to get my hands on that as well. Now, before you think to yourself, why is she showing us a product that's not available in the US? Where there's a will, there is a way. We do live in the age of the internet. So when I was researching this product, I did buy a couple of these posted on eBay. And of course, you always have to be careful if you're purchasing Chanel not directly from a Chanel retailer. I also found a couple cosmetics websites that are all in English. But then whenever you look at the contact information, they were based in Hong Kong. So you may just have to pay a pretty hefty international shipping fee. I'm not 100% sure how that works. Or if you're traveling abroad, something to look out for if you know anybody who's traveling abroad. It's always sort of fun to explore different cosmetics and different products that are available in other regions of the world. But this powder was picked up for me by a friend in Hong Kong. She was traveling on vacation around the holidays and she had texted me. I got it really late at night and she just asked if there was anything I was interested in because she knows how much I love Chanel and cosmetics. And I had remembered seeing this powder what feels like years ago in training materials at the Chanel counter. They had a list of products and he, here I saw this beautiful pink loose powder and I thought, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, I have to have it. But of course, a little asterisk signifying that this was not available in the US. So it's the first thing that I thought of and sure enough, she delivered. I've had this now for two and a half months. I've been so excited and just waiting for this special moment to sit down and really try this product, obsess over every detail. So it's been sitting in the corner in this little Chanel bag for a while until finally I decided it is time. I could not wait any longer. And I know you saw a sneak peek of what it looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. So this is the box. It's pretty much standard LeBlanc packaging. The only thing that I noticed that was different is that on the bottom, there's this little sticker that looks like it has an address for somewhere in Singapore. That's really the only thing. And it does have a date. It says March, 2018. So I have no idea if perhaps that's a shipping date of when it arrived. This is a relatively new. She picked it up in December. So that's the only thing different on the outside. But when you take out the powder, it's so beautiful. You also get a little pamphlet, the way you usually do with Chanel products. So this just has ingredients, how to use, just little tips and tricks in lots of different languages. So you can always use this as a little guide if you're interested, a little reference. Um, but the product itself, one thing you will notice is that it's in a smaller package than the original loose powder. So this one contains eight grams or 0.28 ounces of product. And the original loose powder has 30 grams or one full ounce of product. So a little over 25%. It's a huge difference. A little bit goes such a long way with this. And you'll see later on that a little bit definitely goes a long way with this one. Another major difference between the two is the top. So of course it is this beautiful bright white that goes along nicely with the LeBlanc line. 
and it looks like a giant pearl, which the pearl is the hero ingredient and really the inspiration behind everything LeBlanc. So it does sort of make sense. A few other things about this product. It's also available in another shade. So this is number 20 opaline. It comes in a shade 10 crystalline that is pure stark white. It contains licorice extract to regulate melanin production, pearl protein extract to illuminate. It has SPF 10. And that's about it. Whenever you open it up, you have a beautiful puff. It is so fluffy and large and luxurious and I honestly have had my other loose powder for so long. I forget what the puff even looks like. I think I probably tossed it. Um, so I didn't really remember what the puff is like, but this is such a beautiful little applicator that comes with the powder. One thing I will say is it's probably not going to get much use and you will see why right now. Oh my gosh, I'm ripping it off. There's no going back. <laughs> I can't mess up the video now. Ooh. Okay, so that is gone. And then a little powder just kind of puffed up. It looks very pink, ooh, and slightly luminous. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that. I thought this was going to be a completely matte powder. So there is definitely some sheen. Wow, I'm excited. I mean, have you ever spent so much time talking about powder? It's just the little things in life, isn't it? The puff is a really good indicator for you guys to be able to see just how pink it is. Oh gosh, okay. Let me, let's start with the chin. Very pretty. It definitely looks pink. Like you get a, a pink glow, but it's beautiful. Ooh, little fuzz. It re is reminding me right now a lot of the pink Giorgio Armani powder, which I pulled out because I wanted to compare the two. I'm gonna move in closer. I think it's a lot to apply it with the puff. I'm gonna try on the other side using my tapered brush. You can really tap off the excess. That's a little bit softer. So I think it's maybe a little bit too much to use the puff, but if I use my tapered brush, it looks a lot more subtle and soft pink and you kind of get a little bit of that luminous glow, but not too much. Ooh, I'm going back with a little bit more. I think this side is a little bit better. This side is maybe a little bit too much, but it looks very soft. It's meant to give you a healthy glow. It gives you like that iridescent, very angelic effect. Slight sheen, which I have so many lights. I know it's very bright. I think the camera is probably picking it up right in this area. I can really see, oh yeah, you can see it like right there. But it's really, it's a And we're back, so let me share my final thoughts. You can see when you watch that original video just how brightening and really lightening this powder is. I didn't even realize it until I watched the video back because in person, as I was applying this powder with the compact, it looked rosy and glowy and illuminating, but I couldn't even appreciate just how much it was 
altering the shade of my foundation. It's not a negative, it's nothing against this product because that is really what it is intended to do. When I pulled up a description of this product, it says that the LeBlanc Loose Powder is the ultimate step in the whitening ritual which may seem sort of odd, but it is culturally appropriate for the region where this powder is sold. It's very different from here, especially in Miami, where everybody wants to look like a golden goddess, so sun-kissed, like they spent the week on South Beach. So going forward, I will be using this powder very sparingly and be sure to use a very large fluffy brush, something that will diffuse the product. And I'll really only be using it in very specific points of the face. This is not the type of setting powder that you can really dust all over with abandon and get out the door because it will change the shade of your foundation. I would say that it's probably really beautiful on anybody with medium to deeper skin tones. Because it has that rosy glow, I think it'll be really beautiful. If you're incredibly fair naturally, this would actually add a lot of pink color to your skin. So you may want to opt for the shade 10 Crystalline versus this one. But this I know is very similar to another whoop, powder that I love, which is the Microfill Loose Powder from Armani Shade Pink. This looks beautiful on everybody. They're very similar, not the same. The LeBlanc Loose Powder is a little bit more rosy and the sheen is more subtle. Whereas the Armani powder is a little bit more luminous and a slightly less pink. This has 0.53 ounces. And again, the LeBlanc powder has, where is it? 0.28 ounces. So this is basically double what you get for this. This retails for $45. I know the original loose powder, I believe is still 52. And I was able to track down the price. The LeBlanc loose powder is 82 USD. So it's very expensive. It's not the better value, but it's something that you're going to use probably for special occasions, not all the time. And I find it to be incredibly beautiful. I'm so happy that I finally own this product. And really it's inspired me to check out other products from around the world that might not be available here in the US. So if you know of any, please leave them down below in the comment section. I want to maybe try to get my hands on a few other pieces that are more exclusive to try them out. I think it's very fun. And that completes today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. Of course, I will be linking everything that I possibly can down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.